I've been a Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon fan ever since I was a little boy, so I'm sure you can imagine the pure unbridled joy I experienced when there was a crossover series released on the Game Boy Advance. It was such a great time that I picked up Crash Purple and my sister grabbed Spyro Orange for Christmas so we could play multiplayer battles and card trade together. However, in the UK they were both known as Fusion. And all I have to say is that, well, Rosie, I'm deeply sorry you were stuck with this one. Crash Purple is not a great game, far from it, it's pretty bad, but at least it feels like the other GBA Crash games and the mini games featured feel like a part of the universe and are mostly very fun despite how short they are. Spyro Orange though is a game that simply does not give a shit. It doesn't give a shit about Spyro fans, side-scrolling fans, mini game fans, GBA fans. It's a total anomaly of a game that doesn't even feel like a brother or sister game to the thing it was released alongside. It feels that different and really is that bad in comparison to the Crash counterpart. I mean, it's structured the same way. You have a few worlds with side-scrolling hubs to travel through in order to reach mini games to get to a boss to finish it. But not only are these side-scrolling parts so bad to the point where it not only feels nothing like Spyro with no gliding or charging whatsoever, and even flame attacks suck ass because you essentially just make Spyro spit at everyone like an angry baby who doesn't want its mushy banana, but also bosses after you do all these parts are totally pricking useless. Look at these things, I have never been more threatened. The hub worlds themselves are just filled with uninterested and repeated obstacles scattered over random, flat and boring platforms. Gems don't mean anything once you unlock all the levels that need them because all they do is let you have a random chance to gamble them and get a trading card with money bags that you might have already had before, which contribute nothing to anything in the end anyway, so why even bother wasting your time? And it gets even better once you reach the minigames, Christ where do I start? If they aren't obscenely slow and clunky or insultingly easy, they are the exact same minigame but with different skins. No, I'm not exaggerating to be a negative Neil and rack up those controversial YouTube drama views. Look, they're the same games just with different skins. And even better, they don't only get reused throughout the whole game constantly, but also, get this, need to be finished three times over in order for the ending to happen. The Cortex Conspiracy is the perfect subtitle for Spyro Orange because I'm 100 percent convinced this game was a conspiracy to make cash and screw over everyone else in the process. <laughs> Do you feel like you need to wash your brain out after seeing some truly awful video games? Well then how about go to the description below to chrono.gg forward slash caddy where you can get a really good Steam game on the site every single day for a ridiculously cheap price. Be quick though, the offer only lasts a day and then it will change tomorrow.